quote, calls of sheer desperation from small business owners right now. The coronavirus is taking a really hard economic toll on them. It is extremely concerning when you look at these numbers. U.S. business is largely comprised of small businesses. A survey conducted by the Small Business and Entrepreneurship Council shows 99.7% of the firms have 500 workers or less. 98.2% are firms with fewer than 100 workers. 89% are firms with fewer than 20 workers. Our next guest says money is so scarce for some that they're actually eating just one meal a day. Thomas Sullivan is the Vice President of Small Business Policy at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Um, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here, Thomas. I know that this is really heartbreaking at the end of the day. Um, and, and when you say you are getting calls of sheer desperation, help us understand what you're hearing from these small business owners about their status right now. Thanks, Christy. Well, at, at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, we represent three million businesses. Most of them are small, and that's in conjunction with over 1,600 local and state chambers of commerce. And over the past eight weeks, I mean, it seems like eight months, but over the past eight weeks, we have fielded calls from small businesses all over America who are desperate for cash. Now, there have been some government resources that have helped, but the primary reason that they're desperate for cash, and this shows up in the MetLife survey that we've done, is lack of customers, lack of revenue. So right now, we have 50 states that are in some process of reopening, and that's key to turning that around so that customers can come in, shop safely, and build those revenues back up at small businesses. That's what I wanted to ask you about. I wanted to know if this fight for survival of these small businesses has shifted at this point. It's not about a federal bailout. It's about convincing people that it's safe for them to come in and sit down and eat a meal or shop their products and their services. How are small businesses, uh, how are they addressing that? What, do they have specific plans to try to let people know they're open, they're here, they're safe? Christy, they do have plans, and at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, we're there to help. We have a complete set of online digital tools that are intended to help small businesses reopen, whether it's how do you put personal protective equipment in the hands of your employees to types of questionnaires that you should be asking your employees before they come back to work. We need to do everything possible so that a small business feels confident that when they're taking the steps to reopen, their employees are safe and their customers are safe. And the Census Bureau has been doing a weekly poll on how small businesses are doing. And even though it is really, really tough out there, it's getting a little bit better. The numbers actually picked up a little bit last week. And so that reopening process, I like to refer to it as a nervous celebration going on right now on Main Street. Yeah, that's a really good description, a good way to characterize it. Um, the Treasury Department said that it's paid out more than 4 million loans worth $512 billion over seven weeks, and it says it saved about 50 million jobs. How many of the businesses you've talked to um, have not only requested the PPP, but they received it? Uh, a lot of them, Christy, and actually that census survey that I just referenced showed that 75% of American small businesses have applied for those loans, and over 66% have received them. There's a local business here called Flags of Valor in Ashburn, Virginia. Uh, they make American flags sourced with American wood, and their craftsmen are combat veterans. Can you imagine the, the, the pain and how awful it was for their founders, Joe and, and Brian, to have to furlough four of those craftsmen. Now they just received a PPP loan that allowed for them to bring those four craftsmen back. And, and so those types of stories are heartwarming and we're hearing more and more of them, Christy. Okay, we're, we are glad to hear that as well. Real quickly, um, what are small business owners telling you when they call you and say they just feel like it, they're at their wit's end? We know that the story you just told um, that antidote has a, a good ending right now, but what about other people? What is their most basic need, and, and what stories are you hearing? Well, Christy, their most basic need is cash. Their second most basic need are customers to get that cash coming in, in the door. 
Um, I, I am overwhelmed with calls of gratitude. It is really amazing to hear that at, at the depths of destruction, small business owners are grateful for SBA. They're grateful for their local chambers of commerce. They're grateful for me and, and for uh, others that, that are helping. Um, there is some fear by these small business owners. They want certainty. They want to know that if they take the steps necessary to protect their employees, to protect their customers, that they're going to be shielded from lawsuits and that they're going to be able to continue to hire back and actually get the economy going again. Yeah, that's a really good point to make. Uh, Thomas Sullivan, we appreciate so much you taking time for us this morning. Take good care of yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Be safe. You as well.